Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for all the support on that last video about the shop. But a lot of you guys reached out and, you know, had total support on that and agreed with my decision. So I want to give you guys an update and let you know how we're going to fix this thing. So as most of you know, I fired the installers and the building company that installed and brought the shop. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link in the description below. Go check it out, especially if you're kind of in the market for this. But I wanted to give you guys a full walk around of the building that we have here. Um, Cause I know in the last video, I don't think I actually walked around the whole perimeter, but, and I wanted to give you guys the updates on how the heck we are gonna fix this thing. So um, to address a couple of the, the major issues right off the bat, um, you know, we I pretty much fired the company that was installing it. Now, um, originally when we priced this building out, uh, we priced it out about four or five months ago. So if you have been following the market, you know as well as everybody that metal prices, everything have gone through the roof. So that was the first thing. After I fired um, the company, I immediately got three more quotes from three different companies. Now, when those quotes came in for the same building, because I was prepared and I told the guys, you know, come pick up your building, hit the road. I'm not going to pay for it, whatever. So I got three quotes, all the quotes that I got for the same exact building with the features and the stuff that I wanted were about anywhere from four to six thousand dollars more than what I have this building locked in on contract for. With that being said, I realized that, okay, if the installers on this building are willing to work this out, if we can get on the same page, if they can come back and fix these issues, then you know that's something that would benefit both of us, obviously. You know, if I had them take this building down and I get another building, I'm gonna be five grand more out of pocket than what this building would cost me. Secondly, um, with the truss system, they are missing the lower cross braces. Not missing, but they did about half of what the length um, of what they should be per plan. Now, um, some of you guys know, but I do plan on putting a car lift right here in this bay. So it's going to be a two post car lift with an overhead crossbar, and I need about 12 feet of clearance for that car lift to work. So my original thought process was knowing that the trusses I was supposed to get had that lower cross brace on them, I was honestly going to cut half of them out on this side over here so the car raises up into the ceiling. And that is why I did the 412 pitch, which increased the peak ceiling height a little more. So if you can see one, two, three, I was going to just cut those lower trusses out and like weld up some reinforcements or whatever so I can get a full lift on the car. Now the third issue I had was the panels. Um, as you guys saw in the first video, all these panels had um, rippled edges around the entire building, which I don't know, most people, maybe some people wouldn't have noticed it, but with me, it, it was something that was just gonna be annoying you know, the whole time I owned the building and saw it. So that was definitely something major that addressed, that I needed to have addressed. Uh, fourth, they did not provide, or they say that it wasn't in the quote, to have the lower trim closures. Now, in this industry, the lower closures are called uh, rat guards or lower base trim. Now, what that does, when you turn the metal panel vertical, it actually opens up holes you know the ribs and the panel that are ribbed when you turn the panel vertical those holes are open and so if you look down on the base of the building like if you walk over like this and actually look down you can see you know outside 
So right there, you can see the daylight. So that was another issue I had. I'm like, well, they call it rat guard for a reason. Um, so insects and you know mice and rats don't crawl up in there. And, and you're just open. It's open to the environment. It has air going up in and out of there. So if you ever put a HVAC system or heater in here, you're just losing air. That was really one of the other issues. But after researching and getting three other pri prices from all three other companies, that is not standard in the industry. Um, when you turn the panels vertical, they don't close the lower lower parts. That's just not standard. So that was another kind of bummer that I found out. Like, yeah, that is kind of additional um, when you order these buildings. You have to kind of let them know. And that, you know, some of these problems and issues I had with this building kind of fall back on me because I didn't ask all these questions. You know, what did I do? I assumed that everybody did their job correct and did their job 100%. But you guys know, uh, in this day and age, that shit does not happen anymore. You have to be black and white, crystal clear, you know, act like you're talking to an 8, 10 year old about how, you know, about how you want everything. It has to be precise, clear, set in stone, on paper, black and white. Otherwise, you get this crap. So lastly, they brought galvanized screws. In my mind, I'm thinking, you know, they asked me what color I want the building. And I said, hey, I want a white building. I want everything to be white, clean looking. Again, I assumed they were gonna color match the screws. But as I know now from talking to the whole industry and everybody around that does these metal buildings, that is not standard. So that is also not another thing that is standard with these buildings and something I should have addressed and communicated and said from the get-go. I should have asked about it. Again, I did not because I assumed everybody does the right thing and does, correct, does everything correctly. They don't. So where we landed now, what we're going to do now, I talked to the builder. Where we went back and forth a little bit. It got a little heated. Eventually, we came to an agreement. What he offered to do is come out and replace all the metal panels around the sides, all the white panels, so they don't have the rippling in it. Now, we were going back and forth with the trusses, because at first I said, well, take these trusses off. I want the right trusses. And that, as you know, would be a heck of a job. Uh, a couple things worried me about that. He's going to go up here, pull all this tin off the roof, throw it on the ground, put it all back on. You know, in real life, I've done metal roofing before. You know, I know as well as y'all would know that that roof would not have gone back on exactly correct and straight in the way it should be unless he brought new roofing. You know, the roofing wasn't messed up. So, you know, I kind of I, I forgave him a little bit on that. And I said, you know what? I was going to cut these trusses out anyway. Why don't you leave the roof and just bring me the lower crossbars for these five trusses over here, I'll put them up in there and I'll weld them up myself. Now, since I'm helping you out with that and letting you leave the roof on, I want all the panels to be replaced. I want the rat guard and the base trim to be installed around the whole bottom. I want all the trim and enclosures to be 100% correct. And I want you to bring out uh, color match screws and do white screws in the whole building and make sure everything is correct for the same price we agreed upon minus the discount for the upgraded trusses. So he agreed, he said, okay, we'll leave the roof on, leave the trusses as they are, I'll kick the price off and I'll provide everything else. So, I mean, that's where we stand now. And I was good with that. You know, I talked to several, several people about it. You know, I talked to some of you guys on the comments, got everybody's input. And honestly, I'm like, I really can't complain with that. He's stepping up, he's gonna do all those things. I'm gonna have a building that I want that's 100% correct for you know $5,000 less than, you know, than I can get a building somewhere else now at this point, especially with the increase in prices. So we agreed, you know, we talked about it. We agreed on all that work. He's gonna show up and come out tomorrow and do it. So I think that's fair. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's a good deal. You know, I feel like I'm still saving money. I'm getting everything 
I want, and he's stepping up. He's replacing all this tin, which is on him. You know, he's got to take all this other stuff back home. I feel it's fair. I feel it's a, a pretty good deal. What do you guys think? Let me know. Sorry for the long-winded video, but I just wanted to give everybody an update. You know, that is in the market or is going to be in the market future in the future for a building or a metal shop like this. You know, make sure everything is laid out step by step. If you know, if you want, you know, a colored red building and you think they're going to have red screws <laughs> no they're not don't assume don't assume on any of that stuff everything needs to be black and white ask all the questions you need beforehand get everything figured out and with me I, you know i dropped the ball i didn't do that i, I assumed a lot of stuff before we went down this road in this building and I, I learned a valuable lesson from it and you know and also as you can see we're building a house well some people get annoyed that you ask so many questions but who gives a crap because nowadays in in this time no one does this shit right and everybody you have to go after and make sure they you know fix what they broke or whatever the case may be you guys know how it is it's horrible out there anyway thank you guys for watching and hopefully we'll get an update in the next video will be this shop getting the facelift it deserves and the finish out it deserves and then we'll get the garage doors put in and actually get moved in this thing i cannot wait again thank you guys for watching we'll see you on the next video